Holy shit! I am now just waking up. It's like 1.20. As you can tell, I am terribly sick. But, hey. Hey, we just got some megas. Let's find out what these megas are. So, I just woke up and in my sub feed, uh, raped. And I'm like, I gotta get involved in this. So, we got confirmed. It's Mega Sharpedo and Mega Camera. I totally predicted them. Uh, even though probably everyone else did. I have evidence that I did because I made a video about it saying that Mega Sharpedo is gonna get strong jaw. Like, I'm an encyclopedia, nigga. I'm the Sothoris. I'm telling you that right now, I really am sort of, I think that I honestly could predict the future. You guys should like come up to me and ask me questions and I'd answer them and they'd probably be right in the future. Hey, is my mom gonna be okay in five years? Yes. Yes, she is. On this dick, nigga! Ah! But uh, we got uh, Mega Camera, Mega Sharpedo, as well as Mega Gallade that Wally's gonna have. I absolutely love Wally. One of my favorite characters just from Pokemon in general. All because this nigga is a pussy but ends up getting the most pussy because all of his Pokemon are fucking females. So let's begin. Mega Gallade was revealed. That's it. We get nothing of Mega Gallade at all besides his design that makes him look like a fucking badass shit. Look at Mega Gallade right now. He is looking kind of cool. He's got like some like blades for his arms. I sort of figured it that way. They got rid of like the green part on his body besides the head. So he's not just plain white. I don't know how I feel about that. The nigga looks naked now. But hey, it was, you know, I'm glad that we got it. I don't know what the typing is. They keep the typing because right, I'm looking at Serbia right now. And uh, they're not really showing any really uh, information about Mega Gallade. I don't really know why Mega Gallade gets singled out like this. Uh, but, uh, they, yeah, they don't show the typing for Mega Gallade at all. I, as I'm looking at it right now, they don't show the typing at all. I'm hoping, though, that, uh, Mega Gallade actually ends up being a fairy fighting type. That would be badass as fuck. Then that way he can stop knockoff, and you guys already know how annoying knockoff is, you know? Like, knockoff is on every fucking Pokemon. Every fucking Pokemon can knock something off, which is logically making sense. But then, like, Bear Tick can't use knockoff? Then he's got giant paws! Smack him down! Knock him off! <laughs> but uh, that's the yeah, Mega Gallade. It's, it's got a very simplistic design. It's just they really added adjustments to the arms, and uh, a little bit on the head, a little bit on the head. It's personally not one of my personal favorites. Uh, but now that we got Mega Gallade, uh, Mega Frostlass and Glalie are not going to happen. I tell you this right now, Mega Frostlass and Glalie are going to happen. I'm predicting it right now. There's gonna be a speculation video going out sometime this week about it. Of uh, Mega Frostlass and Glalie are definitely going to happen. They're like a pair. A Hoenn pair, you know, because you know Glalie started out in Hoenn, and then you got uh, another evolution for a different gender in um, uh, fourth gen, just like a Gardevoir got a different gender with a different evolution method in fourth gen. I think they evolve by the same stone too, don't they? Dawnstone and Dawnstone. I think that they do. So Mega Glalie and Mega Frostlass is going to happen, and when it happens, you come to me. I'm starting it right now. I'm taking this credit, nigga. But then we got Mega Sharpedo. So Mega Sharpedo is fucking broken as shit. This is right here though that all of Mega Sharpedo stats get an increase. All of it! So he's the very first Mega Pokemon to get an HP increase. There has never been a Mega Pokemon to get an HP increase. But Mega Sharpedo, that box cutter nigga, is the first Pokemon to get a Mega HP increase. Is he gonna get an HP increase? Is it all stats? So I'm assuming he's gonna get an HP increase. That is fucking insane. That is some insane shit. That is crazy as hell. I, I totally predicted it though when he got strong jack because I made a video uh, saying, uh, I think like two, three months ago in the beginning of June. Uh, I, I don't even know. I think the video it went somewhat viral. I'd say somewhat not. Um, I say like a perfect balance in between. Uh, I just I totally called him like, all right, Mega Sharpedo is gonna have strong job, and uh, it's fine because all you can do is just go for the protect first turn. Not even Mega Evolve yet. Play it like Mega Manectric. Mega Manectric goes to the protect and then scouts and then is gonna go for the Mega Evolution. Same thing with Bayonet. Uh, play him like that. You go for the protect and get a speed boost and then you Mega Evolve and fuck up the game, or get as much speed boost as you want, and then fuck up the game. Like, Jesus Christ, Mega Shapiro is a very good mixed attacker with Ice Beam, uh, Crunch, uh, Hydro Pump slash Waterfall, one of the two, and Earthquake. Very, very, very good mixed attacker, if not one of the best mixed attackers that we have. It's just him to get all stat boosts? I think that's definitely high tier OU usage. He's definitely gonna be somewhere in the OU tier. If not BL, cause uh, he's frail as fuck. He's frail as fuck. And you know, it's just, he's frail as shit. 
I don't think even with a physical defense boost and a special defense boost that he's going to still be able to take hits as well as we're assuming. Uh, it all depends on how much she gets boosted by. We're going to have to figure that out soon. I don't really know. But now let's talk about my favorite out of all of them, Mega Fucking Camerupt. Camerupt is my second favorite fire typing right after Magmar. Camerupt is easily one of my favorite fire types of all time. And for this nigga to get a mega evolution, I'm so fucking happy. You know how much times I'd use him in NU and people would laugh at me saying, why using camera? Camera's booty. No, he's not. Camera's got that booty on his back, nigga. You know, it's just, I love him so much. The only unfortunate part is he got a speed decrease. But since so, since he did, his physical and special defense were already high enough. So for those two to get a boost, that's just going to say, that that's going to say, that's going to say right now, that he's gonna be very, very, very bulky. And if his speed is like, what? I think it's like 70 right now. If it isn't mistaken me, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's like 70, 65 right now. He gets rock polish. So it doesn't even matter if he gets a speed decrease because he can boost it up in general with rock polish. And I typically love running the weakest policy solid rock rock, rock polish set. It's a very fun set to use. Uh, now with having sheer force. I don't know where sheer force came from. It took me a while to understand it. But he forced that volcano to get out from his back. Therefore, the sheerness of that, you know, <laughs> the sheerness of him forcing that volcano get out of his back uh, uh, I just think he looks like a complete bamf too like look at this nigga he's got that hair this nigga just had sex look at that hair he just fucked another camera up he fucked some numbles look at that he's got the hair you know spiked up and everything some messy bed sex hair he's got that smirk it's like yeah my dick <laughs> bigger than a car brain. yo dick you know, he's just, he's, he's just got that, he's got that smirk, you know? He's got that evil PK spark smirk, you know? I'm just digging it. I love it. And then we got, you know, the guys who already knew of Mega Grana, Mega Kyogre getting uh, new abilities. What, they get strong rain and strong sunlight, which I'm going to be assuming makes it so that they never, it never runs away. The rain never goes away, and the sunlight never goes away. Because right now, regular Kyogre and regular Grana would drown Drizzle since they've been nerfed to five to eight turns. Uh, they go away eventually which making them a lot weaker now so them mega evolving and them actually having this ability is going to be very very crucial into the uber's metagame i don't know it's going to affect it greatly uh because now you know just shit but the only i mean it's like especially grata because he gets rock polish i don't think Hoga gets any move that boosts up his speed because he's bulky as fuck red sleep talk calm mind and scald it can be literally ran like crocoon except it's a uh, crow guy or Kroger, Kroger, that's a store, <laughs> the grocery store near me, alright, and uh, I think that's really it, yeah, Mega Grout, Mega Primal, Primal Grout, I guess a new move called Cliff's Blade, I don't really know what that really does, it just, it just says that he gets a new move, I think Mega Kyogre gets a new ability as well, Primal Kyogre has a new ability called Sea of Beginnings, and uh, called uh, Land Endings, they activate what is called Strong Rain and Strong Sunlight, which is most likely going to be called, because Sea of Beginnings sounds more badass, but we're, we're American, they're probably going to call it by the first, the last ones. But that's really going to be it though guys, so if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, I know I'm late to the party, but definitely give the video some support, let's try and destroy that like button, let me know in the comments down below how you feel about these Megas, and what other Megas are we going to get, two fucking months left until the game comes out, with that being said, a mad hype, we may get a demo October 15th it says, but that may be only for the Japan copies, so I don't really know. Uh, with that being said, though, guys, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about these megas down in the comments down below. I sound like I I sound like I'm snorting coke right now. I'm just I'm that sick. I got a paper right as well. I'm out. Bop.